Um, so when we mix the following two solutions, does a precipitate form? So 0 0.100 liters of 0.3 molar calcium nitrate um, is mixed with 0 0.200 liters of 0 0.060 molar sodium fluoride. So we have all that written up here. And I've already given you that we're going to be forming calcium fluoride as our insoluble or slightly soluble compound. And the KSP of calcium fluoride is given to us here, 3.2 times 10 to the negative 11. So remember, that's what it takes to have precipitate being formed, okay? So this expression, you guys should all be able to do it by now, Ca2 plus times F minus squared. Is everybody okay with that? So remember, with this calcium nitrate, right, the only important part is the calcium, okay? Calcium nitrate, the important part is the calcium. So it's a one-to-one -one of calcium to calcium nitrate. So we can just do this. Ca2 plus concentration is 0.3 mole. Everybody okay with that? And sodium fluoride, well, there's two fluorines to every um, sodium I mean, sorry, there is a, there's one fluorine to every fluoride, right? So we can just do this. So the fluoride concentration is that. Is everybody okay with that? Okay. There's two fluorines to every calcium, so I looked down there, unfortunately. Okay, so here, let's just do this. Same thing. And here, same thing here. CH2 plus. So um, this is going to be moles of Ca to 2 plus per 1 liter, like that. But we have 0 0.100 liters of the stuff. Is everybody OK with that? Cancel, cancel. And then, unfortunately, I'm going to erase this thing up here for right now. And I'm going to divide the whole thing by the total volume, which would be 0.1 plus 0.2. Okay? So 0 0.300 liters. So that's the total volume. So this would be the new molarity that I'm getting. Everybody okay with that? And if you're not okay with it, rewatch the video. So 0.3 times 0.1 divided by 0.3, so 0.10 molar Ca2 plus. Everybody get that? Okay, so let's do the same with F minus. So mole per liter times 0.2 liter divided by 0 0.300 liters. Liters, liters cancel, and that's going to give us the molarity of F minus. So 0 0.06 times 0 0.2 divided by 0.3. So 4.0 times 10 to the negative 2 molar F minus. Like that. Okay, has everybody gotten that far? Does it make sense so far? Okay, so now, um, remember the KSP expression is this equals this, okay? So, KSP So this actually is not KSP, 
write, it's actually QSP at this point in time. So that's where we are at this point. So if we compare this to this number here, is this number bigger than that number? Yes. Yes. So this should have precipitated. Is everybody okay with that? Right? So this precipitated. Questions on that one? Okay, wonderful. 